Hello, everybody, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Just Josh Draws. As always, I am Just Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I am joined by uh, my two best buds, John, the man of the hour who makes it all possible. John, say hi. Hello. <laughs> and, of course, my great friend, Ed Cologne from Dodging Karma Design. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> <clears throat> Mm, yes, just put that there's right some, up in my. Oh, some, I need seriously. There's, there's no pop going filter. on here, microphone wise. So. You literally, <laughs> it's on my chin. <laughs> He's having a close encounter of the mic kind. Um, so <laughs> who's Mike and why is he on my chin? That's disgusting, Josh. Uh, That's, what are you doing, John? Do it too. <laughs> if you saw what, if you could see what I see. He's using my goatee as a pop chin. filter and it's yeah. not exactly working. <laughs> I don't so, speak through my neck. Sure you do. So everybody, uh, you know, of course, as, as you guys know, we've been keeping a Rick and Morty theme for our drawing mashups as of the last few weeks, just primarily because uh, we are actually still in the running for the Rick and Morty t-shirt design contest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we are currently in sixth place. We've actually moved up quite a bit and we are we are holding strong and we're needing your help. We were in fifth help. place for like 10 minutes last night. <laughs> <laughs> Victory. Um, Victory yeah, so, is ours. So, so we just got to hold out and get as many votes as possible to try and get as high as we can by Tuesday. That's when the voting ends. We need your help to try and get to that Tuesday point. Tuesday at midnight. At I don't want midnight. people waking up Tuesday morning with, ah, oh, well, screw it. You know? <laughs> Voting on Tuesday morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. <clears throat> so, guys, like I said, we need your help to get this done and uh, to get us into the finals for judging. You guys are the only ones who can help us do this, so we really appreciate any help. You only can you. Can prevent forest fires and vote for our shirt. Um, <clears throat> so, with that aside, like I mentioned, it's inspired us to do Rick and Morty themes every live stream for the last three live streams i think it was and, uh, no, I, uh, four regardless. last too many live streams last too many live streams so this will be the last rick and morty live stream for a while Woo! anyway <laughs> yeah. Love and love and yeah i love the show i love all about it but you know yeah, we've it's been, a little i have been promoting like a monster he is crazy he's been crazy so um like i said with that aside the last uh, Rick and Morty mashup was one that I've, that we actually talked about before and came to mind while we were working on the idea for the contest, um, actually, and it was Lord of the Ricks. So the idea, the Lord <laughs> of the Ricks. <laughs> you know, Robert Shaw that. says, "Hey, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Robert, how you hey, doing?" Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always this song with you? Hey, times song. three. I love that song, too. Well, there you go. Um, but, yeah, like well, I said, guys, so we're going to be doing... We need doing... to start a so we can get the rights to that damn song. So we... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> so, oh, Christ. Thanks so so the, the plan for today is to actually recreate the original movie poster or original DVD cover um, of Lord of the Rings using... It's going to be Lord of the Ricks. So the primary characters for every variety are going to be Ricks from different dimensions who are basically all in this medieval world. Um, Before we continue, I just yeah. want to just mention one thing. We're lo- we're streaming on Facebook Live, mm-hmm. Twitch, yep. and YouTube. Yep. Okay, so... The tubes. The tubes. The tubes. The we're all up on their tubes. The uber tuba. So, so if you so if you're so if you're in. lonely in your group, you just uh, push that little button in the lower left on Facebook and hit share. Oh, okay, okay, Robert. Hey, hey, hey! There you go. You got it. All right, you I'm happy? Bad, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me. Like I said, without <laughs> without further ado, this is the rough sketch based on the original movie poster that had come out. So we got Elf Lady. I'm still trying to decide. So you guys, I need your help to vote for some of the characters, mostly female characters. But so far, we definitely know for sure Morty is going to be Toto Baggy Pants. I mean, Frodo Baggins, whatever. Uh, baggy Pants? As from a VeggieTales movie. Oh, okay. Toto Baggy Pants. Yeah. Uh, then we've got uh, <laughs> Rick Grickdolf, which is the <laughs> legendary wizard. Um, and Rick Dolph? <laughs> yeah, Gandalf. Rick Dolph. Rick Dolph the Grey. I, I really want you to do that voice. Gandrick? I want you to. Gandrick. I like that. Gandrick, yeah. Gandrick. Gandrick and then sounds we've more got, less We've forced. got Rick a Corn. No, it's Rick a Thorn. <laughs> Peppercorn? Rick a Thorn, son of. Son of I don't know. Um. All right, then we've got we got Lego Rick, and then we've got Lego Rick. Yeah, like and then, the Lego Movie. He's, no. That'd be funny if you made him like a Lego. Th- Rickolus, I don't know. Rickolus. Yeah, like and then we've got um, we're gonna have Gimli as Mister Noob. No, it's gonna be Mister Poopy Butthole. He's gonna be Gimli, son of Gloin. So every uh, time you say that, see so your soul die a little yeah, bit, Mister Poopy Butthole. Yeah, son <laughs> of also Poopy Butthole. Um, 
Then we've got Boromir. I'm still trying to decide if I want to put Boromir in there. And then we've got these three guys. So it's Mary, Pippin, and Sam. And they're all going to be different Mortys from that episode of the Citadel where there's all these different versions of Mortys. So all three of them are going to be different. But then we've got Eowyn here. Or actually Arwen. Arwen the elf. That's Aragorn's, uh, Rick of Thorns love interest here. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm still trying to decide who it's going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be the blue ladies from that other planet that, that are all sharing consciousness with other ladies. I don't know. I'm trying to, with other people in general, the hive mind thing. Do you remember that episode? Hive mind mm. episode? Yes. But yeah, the, that one. I don't know. The thing is, I would go with the main characters and forget about where their original origins are from mm. uh, because it would be weird if it was summer. No, I was going to put Summer up here, possibly as Galadriel or something. Oh. Because she's in, there's two ladies in this image, so. It's okay, then. Yeah, so well, we've, then. Got, we've got choice here. Okay, well, <laughs> just, I was just thinking, you know, oh, and it's the love interest of, of yeah. another Rick, and that's kind of And weird. then we also had the concept of these writers here at the bottom, which I'm not 100% sure who they should be. Either they should be like Mr. Meeseeks or... Um, cause uh, we were debating whether or not Mr. Meeseeks would be a Smeagol, like, would be like Smeagol. So that's the other thing I've been kind of wrapping my head around. Uh, <laughs> so definitely comments are welcome. We'd like to know your opinions on these things. So I'm going to start on the piece. And then when we start to get to those points, you guys can, um, comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear votes on who you think these characters should be, you know, if I should keep him in the image, who the horseman should be, um, I'm not really sure just yet. So let me know. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started. I was watching Nerdy Nummies. Oh, day. really? She does that all the time. Let's get Nerdy, started. Uh, <coughs> Rosanna Pansino is uh, Josh's like celebrity crush. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. She's mine, too. If that makes she may see this one day. Oh. Uh, uh, well, uh, th then, then she'll, I don't know, make a Just Josh Draws cake. <laughs> We're going to make it look just like Josh. I wish. So I can eat his beautiful face. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're funny. I'm hilarious. I'm hilarious. That sounds like I was. That's like, really. I, yeah. rea I realized yeah, I like, I could, when I said that, it may sound like I was high. Yeah, just a little. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Are you sure you're not? I, right, believe me, I'm too broke to not be. The to, to be. To, 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 to not be. be. I think you got it correct. To be or not okay. to be, that is a question. <laughs> what is nobler in mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take up arms in itself and to get to see your troubles? Wow, you impress me sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Not very often. And then I wake <laughs> up and realize it was me. <laughs> I was impressing myself. All oh, right. Where I am it? inviting people as we speak. Yeah. Go ahead and comment. All the little. What will a dub dub, guys? Did uh, Josh ever? Did Josh tell you about uh, when uh, John? Did Josh tell you when me and him went to uh, Starbucks, and I literally which time? No, like this last time that oh, I li I okay. literally put the sign out. Uh huh. He yeah. did. No. All right. Well, why don't you tell like who might may or may not be listening? Because I think that was funny. All right. So and I'm trying. I, to I go to Starbucks like all the time now. Cause coffee. <laughs> no, because the ladies are nice to me there. Um. <laughs> oh. Uh, who could you put in orc looking? Um, well, I don't know. Um, I'm, the only real villains in the image are the horsemen at the bottom of the original movie poster. So, now, guys, just just to let you know, the reason why I'm doing this composition to match the movie poster is because the concept would end up being, um, this is possibly going to be a t-shirt, depending on how it comes out. So, if you guys really like it, um, when it's done, we're actually thinking about doing it as a shirt on the website, just Josh Draws. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why I was trying to use the original composition. So it'll read like a Lord of the Rings movie shirt when people see it from a distance. But as they get closer, they'll realize what it actually is. So I always love doing shirts. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so we we're sitting at. Uh, so, yeah, we are trying to win this contest. Hmm. Uh, and we were sitting at the Starbucks and I printed out a, you know, actually I printed out for uh, for uh, Starks, the actual right, the draw, the artist. For uh, the Rick and Morty car comic book. And uh, I had an extra one <clears throat> because the print shop screwed up. Uh, and I went ahead and had that on the table. And I had Josh write a sign that said something along the lines of, um, want to help two, you know, pathetic local artists who are sad. and He had me write it. 
Uh, well, yeah. And I'm just sitting here like, what? You have better handwriting than What do you me? want me to write? And I can type it out like a, you know. He's uh, just like, I want you to write, I don't know, something about local artists and all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh, geez. So and then he puts it next to us at the coffee table. And at the sir, it's the table where all the people come to pick up their coffee. So yeah, it's right. It was right at the exit point. So that was great. So it, you know, hey man, aren't you glad we didn't go sit outside at the table out there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you're you're slowly adapting me to become more social. Yeah. He doesn't like be, you know. And the girls are at the shop are like, why does he? Why do you always have to leave when he shows up? I'm like, I'm sorry, ladies. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. It's my. It's my he just, he just wants, you know, no, it's not like that, but, uh, no, it's just, you know, nice to talk to people that want to talk to you as well other than, you know, and then you come. So it's good. Well, I wanted to talk uh, and then you come and then th- that all goes away and I'm stuck. With I you. said, it's good. <laughs> I'm just saying is like, I, I work on stuff, you know, there. So that way I have people to talk to while I'm working on my projects and stuff, you know, just no, I get you. I, I, I have no issue with that at all. I'm just, you know. Making, I'm just playing fun with you. But the whole thing is, so we're, so we're sitting there with a sign that literally says, um, uh, "We're two local artists, you know, trying to win a contest. Ask us how." And how many? Uh, we had like 15 uh, votes that day, like 15, 20 votes of that day alone. And I was like, "Holy crap! Why haven't we done print earlier?" And there's like, there's like seven days left in the contest. Why didn't I use my brain earlier? So well, it's uh, funny because when I told him about the QR code, because it came to mind after the print, oh, I saw God. the print, I was like, you know, what you could do like a QR code. Um, <laughs> and he's just like, what? I was like, yeah, you can just generate one for free online. He's like, you serious? <laughs> well, I no, no. I, well, I knew I knew <laughs> of the QR code, but I, at that point I was like, why, why did you think of that? And I'm like, I don't know. It just, just didn't come to mind in the moment until just now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Man. So, yeah, we're just hanging out, and he has no fear when it comes to talking to people, like, no matter what they're doing. Like, it doesn't matter. (laughs) We were at a restaurant. Hey, I know you're trying to resuscitate someone. But (laughs) while you're here, could you check out this design? See what you think. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah. (laughs) So, it was, (laughs) to say the least, some some situations can be a little mortifying for me, but... um, Mortifying! (laughs) But I get. I've got. You're talking about the restaurant. Yeah. What? What? Why was the restaurant so bad? Well, so Josh just, and I went to what was it? TGI Fridays yeah. after the last live stream. Yeah. And, and he pretty much got all the wait staff and the manager at the table, and I was like, nobody's getting served. Like they're literally all here. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Like, let them go. He was like, vote. Like, the lady goes, did you guys need anything else? He's like, could you vote? Like, could you? Could you, <laughs> you, you can help us out. You got Facebook? She's like, yeah. Give me your phone. Let's let's show. And, this is, and the thing is, they're, they're all, like, friends at work there. Uh, they're, like, they're all friends with each other at the TGI Friday. So they're literally walking by. It's like, here, take this. And they're just handing people, handed the phone and says, yeah, let me do this. And, and the manager talked to us for a while. And he was like, oh, yeah, I got a ton of friends and blah, blah, blah. It was like, and everybody was, like, super supportive and really cool. And it just made me realize that people can't help if they don't know that we're doing this. <laughs> so, I mean, I just kind of sucked it up and said, all right, I'm going to go ahead and Start telling people. All about hey, Ben. What's up, Ben? Just start telling people, hey, man, we're gonna, we're gonna get get this done now. So he's just been on like full full mode of full chasing people. Oh down. yeah, Tac- he tackled old ladies, getting them to vote. He just it's been crazy. I, what did you say? I tackled, tackled old ladies. <laughs> Last <laughs> night I went to uh, Starbucks uh, with my daughter. I uh, got a coffee and I got her a cake pop, and they gave her an extra cake pop. And I was because like, well, and I was like, you got them to vote <laughs> because we, I was talking to them. And oh, and one of the girls was a was a cosplayer. And Ooh. I and I gave her my card and everything. And, you know, about doing what I do. And uh, it was uh, it was fun. I mean, it was just it was an interesting situation. <laughs> it was uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like forced. I wasn't being like, you need to vote. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't anything like that. It was uh, very organic. Everybody was like, oh, I already know Rick and Morty. I gave up. Uh, OK. I, this is really okay. This is like the most gutsy <laughs> point I made is I literally was at Walmart and there's this cashier uh, with uh, purple hair. Purple hair? You don't say. Yes, and she's she's so cute, like way way like not even like just adorable. And I walked up to her and I was like, "Hey, I, I'm judging by the color of your hair. You watch Rick and Morty." I was like, "Oh my god, I love Rick and Morty. Take this." 
<laughs> I'm not even kidding. It was like, You're we're in a contest. We're number six. Uh, and this is like literally like a minute after we became number six in the country. So I was like, we're officially, look down on my phone, sixth. <laughs> uh, we, we like you to, you know, vote. And uh, it was awesome. She was, um, um, she she was like, oh, and I got friends, and I was like, I'm sure you do, and she's gonna go off and hopefully tell people, and if not, you know, whatever. Right now we're everywhere. We're even in Spencer's break room, like in the back. That's exciting. <laughs> Call them. We finally made Spencer's break room. <laughs> that was such a big moment. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we've been doing. Been fighting, fighting, and fighting. I had a tiger. Who wants to play? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. So we got... Oh, we got a bunch of comments, uh, a lot of Ben stuff. But uh, Danny says, cool, I'm surprised by how friendly people are even out of conversations when I tell them I cost... Oh, yeah, that's... that's it's It's... I think it's... Well, as far as the cosplay is concerned, because I do the cosplay edits and all that jazz... Uh, you do? You yes, don't say. I have to say all the time. Did you vote? Yes. Do you have a Steam account? Yes. Oh, crap. Okay, then I don't need you anymore. Go away. But when, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did you vote on a Steam account? I thought I had a friend. <laughs> You've got a friend in me. Only <laughs> if you vote. No, I'm not, Ed. <laughs> I love you between votes, and then after that, I'm, I'm seeing someone. Friendship will never die. But what I was going to tell you <laughs> about, I, I totally agree with Danny on about the cosplay thing, because when it comes to, I think it's I think it's the fact that somebody is doing something that, you know, because everyone does the Halloween thing once a year. And I know there's a lot of cosplayers don't really do much for Halloween, which I thought was kind of neat. But they, can't, they always struggle with Halloween. Yeah, they're like, I, I got 11 Now costumes. I don't know what to do, because I dress up all year round. So the one day where I'm supposed to dress up, I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. Oh, thanks, Ben. ben you I got, got a fr- friend. You got a friend in Ben. Yeah. You got a Ben friend. I got a Ben friend. Ben friend seven. But so my whole thing with uh, the cosplayers, I think it's I think it's from like the layman's point of view. It's like wow, you get to do something without fear all the time, uh, and it's something I maybe can allow myself to socially get away with once a year, maybe if I even allow myself to do that. And I, I think it's a, I think they it's a gutsy thing, and I think a lot of people who want to get into cosplay uh, are seeing it in a completely different light. They're seeing it as uh, I'm afraid I'm going to get made fun of. Meanwhile, it's a super super uh, um, welcoming com- community. You just gotta get in with the right people. Yeah. The problem is, is lately there there's a lot of people now that are starting to make it into like a club or something. Jason, you're right. I do like my women like I like my coffee. Hot, bitter, and half filled with whiskey. <laughs> ben and Jason. This is going to be an interesting stream. Ben, ben and Jerry. Ben, Can I ben. square your shoulders, Jerry? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm Mr. Meatix. Look at me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, is Mr. Meatix going to be? Uh, okay, so what He's we're doing today Smeagol, in case. But I don't know where to put him. <laughs> so since you guys are uh, tuning in right now, we are mashing up uh, like we normally do with your suggestions between um, uh, Rick and Morty, which is what we're doing because of the contest. So thank God it's the last one. Uh, Rick and Morty. Oh, and, thank God. And Lord of the Rings. So we're putting together Lord of the Ricks. The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Robert, you'll be back. Good. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh. All right. Don't leave, Robert. We love you. Come back. <laughs> You're weird, dude. Don't lie to me. Promise me you'll be back. I'll be back. Never. So, uh, <laughs> Jason. So, uh, what am I doing now? We're, we don't know what you're doing. I'm looking at more people to invite because. Are you? I had an issue with doing this. This doing this invite. It was just click it. all buttons do i do down the list yeah but i did that and i got well actually i have a plugin on my computer uh now that allows me to invite everybody on facebook everybody on my face my friends list the problem is when i did that it only yeah, said you only had for you could only do 50 uh-huh. and that 50 was actually a group chat about the event so i literally invited 50 people and i went oh my god they must all be pissed right now and then i'm clicking them all <laughs> I'd be pissed. I, I, I hate group invites. Brad Scott, let's get you on here. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that out loud. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I just, just just saying. So we're going to be doing the voices for Lord of the R- uh, Ricks afterwards because we do the, the, normally what we do if you're listening and this is kind of like your first time or you're not you know really too hip with how Just Josh Ross work is at the very end uh, I've forced him to. <laughs> I forced him. I forced him down to do the voices of the thing because we do silly voices. We make a bunch of jokes and we're all silly and stuff. So uh, what I wanted to do. Ed what, thinks he can do some good voices. I, I try. <laughs> we're gonna have to put that to the test. Like I said, we're gonna do that uh, voiceover episode. We're gonna do it, guys. It's gonna happen. We gotta get you know feedback on what movie you guys would like to see us read scripts from. But well, yeah, yeah, well, like I told him, the only reason why I do Rick's voice is because there's no way in God's green hell I can do Morty. You guys stop beating yourself up about it, Rick. <laughs> it's like I, I, I do this, and I sound like I'm. You know. I'm I sorry. mean, you're not that good at it. Let's just let's just be straight. I'm not good at it. Let's be honest. I, I know. So, be, Ed, you spent all bag. this time trying to get Rick's uh, voice down, and after today's stream, you know, have this talent that you're not going. It's just something I'm ever going to use. <laughs> it's just something I'm going to have in the holster there. Like all the other wasted <laughs> opportunities in your life, Rick. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my God, that hurt. Dang. <laughs> he's he's full. Full, full failure, Rick. Yeah. All the fail- you just take all your failures and put them in a bag. <laughs> put them in a bag. You take it to the failure museum. <laughs> <laughs> it up on display, Rick. I w- okay, I'm, I can't. I, I mean, I want you to think about this because I really want to see how this is going to be. But at the end of the show, when we do the voices, you got to tell. Oh, I, my I, God. You do the voice of Kermit, too, Ben. Ah! I'm Marvin the Martian. He me. And the Godfather. I am very, very <laughs> seriously curious how you do um, uh, w- uh, the the wizard uh, Gandalf and Rick at the same time. Grick, Gra- <laughs> Grandalf. <laughs> I have no idea. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> oh God, it's gonna be. Really it's gonna be hilarious. It is. It's gonna, it's be. gonna be fun. So we gotta get like we gotta try and get all the people who can do voices. Gather them all up, get all the voice prints, <laughs> and you put them in a bag, and you do a live stream. Uh, you see, you do that so well, and I'm just like nowhere near it. So I'm, I'm just, I do my, my mediocre. You just, my mediocre voice. Your destiny is not to be as annoying sounding as I am. Big whoop. What I want to try. <laughs> What, what I want to try doing All is... All the things you can suck at, Ed. Being annoying. <laughs> that's, that's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to try doing is um, I, I want to look up the script. For, you know, that, you know, remember that, that, that paragraph you, that was done by the English woman in the beginning of yeah. Lord of the Rings? That One English ring to rule them all. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Do you think you can do that? I mean, or do you want to try this, Rick? Because I, I, I mean, I could try, but you start changing the words when we were talking about doing that live. <laughs> can you? I mean, uh, what were you saying? Like, if, uh, Ben says, Mister Mises has the ring wraith. <laughs> well, I was trying. I'm not sure. I wasn't sure how to do it because if I wanted to do Mister Meeseeks as Smeagol, which seemed to fit more. Then, then, because you know, Mr. Meeseeks is stuck existing because he couldn't fulfill his destiny or whatever. So he's stuck existing, and Mr. Meeseeks hate to live for a really long time. So he'd be crazy talking to himself. And then that whole, you know, you wrote me into this. No, you wrote me into this. He wrote me into this. Like, it would be like a thing, you know? But then I was also contemplating it, too, because the ring race are at the bottom of the design riding their horses, and I wasn't sure who to put as the ring race. So the Meeseeks thing might make sense doing it that way better i don't know but then who would be smeagol guys well i mean you could another do, morty like or another another uh what do you call that another me seeks you can do multiples obviously no but ring wraiths are men who whose souls have been lost to the to power and then um yeah the eye of sauron i'm gonna put that over here but it's gonna have just a portal in it <laughs> <laughs> no is the middle of the eye gonna have that little weird pupil <laughs> like they always like they all have I'm not sure. That weird thing. You know, I'll make the Eye of Sauron, that farting gas thing that had powers who sang Mr. Moon, Goodbye, Moon Man. Do you remember that? That is a weird show. When yeah. You, when you try to explain yes. it to people, you're yes, like, damn, Morty. this is weird. Yes, Morty. I like this name. Fart. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you, would you, will you sing for me again? <laughs> of course, Morty. <laughs> a cosmos without hatred. <laughs> Did you see that song killing me? Goodbye, Moon Man. It was just, it was weird. And then he shot him. 
<laughs> oh man, spoilers! <laughs> I didn't say he died. I said he shot him. Oh, plot twist! But um, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. So I'm actually gonna be honest with you guys. I and this is gonna be where John yells at me. This is gonna be the part of the show where John yells at me. Back when Lord of the Rings first came out, probably around 2000, 2001, something like that. Uh, my girlfriend and I went to go see that movie. And I remember it was cool because we saw it, went to go see it in like a almost like a two hundred year old movie theater. It was really like it was a really old old theater. Like it used to be plays and then they turned into movies, and it, it was just very cool. Like the architecture around the place was pretty neat. And I remember watching it there, and I fell asleep. Bastard. And not only did I fall asleep because I was bored, I fell asleep because the story was moving too slowly. And just when it was started picking up, and I was like, yeah. All right, this is cool. The credits came on. <laughs> and that's when my girlfriend said, wow, the next one's going to be great. And I was like, what the hell do you mean the next one? <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're going to be like a trilogy or something. Like, no! <laughs> I was so frustrated. All right, Ed, so you think I was going to yell at you? Because I didn't see Lord of the Rings. Because when yeah. I, I don't see a TV show or a movie, you're every like, Every time I attempted to watch the Lord of the Rings, yeah. I fall asleep every time. Oh, cool! <laughs> Every time, within 20 minutes. Yes. Oh, my God. I think that was it, too. Yeah. Like, like after the dragon goes through. Mm-hmm. He has uh, no fortitude. It's not. <laughs> we don't have any nerditude. I have an issue with uh, my inner nerdum. Nerdum. <laughs> nerdium. Nerdium. Inside my nerdium. Just thinking about all the lines from the movie, like, when you see them said by Rick, it's just. I don't even know. Like what? what, what well, like the, what Aragorn goes to get the undead armies to help him face the armies of Mordor. And when he goes there, he's legitimately supposed to go and talk to these dead people and make sure they don't kill him so that he can get them to help, you know, save the world. And so he goes there and the guy's just like, we do not suffer the living. And then he's just like, you will suffer me. And he grabs the ghost and then he just starts fighting with stuff. And I just picture Rick like anticlimactically doing the same thing, and it's just the same. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer me, ghost. Come here, come here, little bastard. Like just grab it. Like, like, it's just, just the thought of it makes me laugh. Just all the lines in the movie. So we just got informed by Jason that Ed falls asleep during most movies. Uh, no, just asking him about on. what about King Kong? What, no. what happened there? <laughs> nobody, nobody should stay awake during King Kong. Movie was entirely too long. We're talking about the old one, I think, with Jack Black. Uh, yeah, not okay. Not, I, I believe it was the old one with Jack Black. Oh, okay, fine. Um, me falling asleep and King Kong was. Um, <laughs> ben, that's my favorite part of the movie. What? See, you don't get it. What? That's you missed all the good parts. What part would I miss? What are you talking about? Gimli, the little dwarf. He's supposed to get. He's trying to jump across the bridge, and he's like. The whole movie, he's been trying to like impress the elf, like he's a badass, so that him and the elf can are on equal terms. And Aragorn's with him, and there, the only way they could save everybody is if they jump across to this bridge from a side angle and attack everybody on the bridge who's about to break the door down. So he's just like, "We're gonna have to jump." And he looks at him, and he's like, "Toss me." Oh, that. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, "Are you sure?" And he's like, "I can't jump the distance. You're gonna have to toss me." And he looks at him, and he's just like, before he grabs him, he's like, "Don't tell the elf." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like i won't breathe a word <laughs> he throws him across <laughs> his little dwarf just kills everybody <laughs> but if it was rick it'd be like it was a don't tell the elf <laughs> don't tell the elf <laughs> by the way burkis says hello Burkis. so as far as the uh, king kong thing is concerned here's the situation i fell asleep during the in the sometime uh <laughs> something he doesn't even remember i can't remember that it was how, all blur it was I just, all, you know it was a, it was a monkey. I mean, a gorilla. He's an ape. Oh, and I God. remember oh. falling asleep, and apparently my snoring woke me up. That's impressive. <laughs> and when my snoring woke me up, then I opened up, and I was at the scene where all the bugs were, you know, the size of Volkswagens. You remember what I'm talking about in the, in the old uh, oh, yeah. King Kong yeah. where all the bugs are, like, enormous? And I woke up, and the first thing I was doing, because – because I literally just woke up at that point. It's like you walk into that part of the movie, and I guess I didn't have I didn't have control over my volume at the time. Because all because the entire theater is all like enthralled in the movie and they're watching, it, and all of a sudden from 
after the, the I, my snoring wakes me up, you hear from me, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> Did I go to another movie? <laughs> <laughs> I literally was like, the monkey is supposed to be big. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where's the damn monkey? You know, Come on, like, guys. Friggin', I'm going to take King Kong's lice to, to <laughs> I'm going to jump on King Kong's back on the lice and you know, it'll work. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> No, I mean that's basically it. Uh, I, I've I've had a tendency to fall asleep in certain movies because it's I ironic because I can't fall asleep in any movie. I wish I can tell you that there was a reason behind it, uh, but I mean I, it doesn't happen now because you were now, tired. <laughs> now we're paying for it. Our buddy Jeff had ran a movie theater, so we saw everything for free pretty much. And uh, uh, when we actually started paying for movies, I was like, I'm gonna stay awake during this if I have to. I'm going to enjoy this. Everybody, let's watch The Notebook. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not a chance. But uh, <laughs> I've never fallen asleep during a movie, ever. What? Like, yep. Not once. I can't. Apparently, it's impossible. I came home from a three-day dog show where I didn't sleep at all. Okay? At all. I got home. My dad goes, hey, can you want to watch something with me? And I'm like, fine. So I grab a blanket and I lie down. You know what he puts on? The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. What the hell? It's a that? movie about business and starting a business. And I was I was like 12 and I was not ready for that. And I'm just lying there. <laughs> but you know what? Guess what? Some part of me needed to know the end. <laughs> That's my problem. My <laughs> brain goes, you got you got to know what's going to happen at the end, Morty. You got to <laughs> stay up. You got to stay up. <laughs> By the way, Ben Happy says, Thanksgiving. it shall not pass. <laughs> Can you imagine like how anticlimactic every line would be if Rick was saying it? Like, cause if you have you seen that part? Yeah. He's like, flame of voodoo. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, Rick's just like, yeah, yeah, fl- flame of voodoo, <clears throat> uh, the sacred fire. Uh, what the hell? Okay, y- you. Like, <laughs> just yeah. not. You. Uh, <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna you, pass. Uh, you- <laughs> you will not pass. <laughs> Berkey says, "Happy early Thanksgiving, friends." Oh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. oh yeah happy well, tech day what is the deal with next weekend are we well i mean yeah we're still doing the show i'm assuming right yes we're gonna mash a rick and morty and a turkey That's yes. I mean. turkey I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get more no. into like the themed episodes and so like i'm gonna bring like a turkey and just wear it on my head no, no, there i'm just go. kidding that was a joke and ben says uh oh wait sorry jason first says thanks to ed and there's about 15 movies i have never seen the first 10 minutes of <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep through you fell asleep during the 300 the movie that was like the most no. i can't fall asleep movie. no that was that was uh i had to stop at a seven there was 17 7 11s between here and the theater and i needed to check on all of them evidently <laughs> <laughs> just saying uh that's that's what's uh that's what i always get uh roped into he wrote me into this no that's uh what i i i had a bit i'm working on the late thing i'm working on it like really hard i believe you I mean, I showed up early. To, I've been showing up early to the stream. Thank yeah. God you got the studio's yeah. five minutes away from my house. But that's not the point. <laughs> that's why I tell them. I'm like, <laughs> like if it was anything else, like meeting up with me, anything like that, it never happens. I, I, it has. <laughs> it too has to happen. You stop being a bastard. You, <laughs> like nearly never. And the, but then the live stream. Yeah, I, always I've upgraded to nearly. <laughs> But then he always makes it to the live stream, and on, at least on time, like right there. Like after we gave him enough crap about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Ed, we're about to go live in ten seconds. Sit down. Shut up. Let's go. <laughs> and then we do. And then we do prepper in the air. <laughs> and that's always fun. All right, guys. What are you thinking so far? So we got Rickolas, Gandrick, Rick, Rick Dolph. Rick, R- Rick, Rick, Rick Dolph. Dolph almost sounds like a rapper. Rick Dolph Lundgren. Um, <laughs> Morty, <laughs> Rick Thorn, son of other Rick Thorn. I don't know. All the Ricks. They're all Ricks. Everybody's Ricks. They're all Ricks, Rick. And I'm trying to decide. So I decided instead of Arwen, we're gonna take the Elf Lady out. And we're gonna put Smeagol here. But I don't Smeagol. know. I don't know. Now you're gonna put a little Rick face on the ring. Yeah, he's gonna be on the ring. <laughs> he's gonna be like, I made myself into a Rick, a ring, Morty. I'm, I'm, I'm ring Rick. Ring, ring. Oh, I Ben's now all. defending himself, by the way. What? Ben is now defending himself. He's like, in my defense, I have not slept in three days. And I just played paintball all day. I made it to the point of the... I, Leo does... I can't even say it. Leonidas. Yeah, that thing. Going to see the woman dancing around the stone. Or dancing around stoned. Oh, the muses or the... Or the yeah. 
So he he got to the part where like when the nearly naked lady's doing the prophecy thing, and that's the part where he fell asleep. I've never finished the three hundred either. What is with you guys? Uh. Oh, I love the three hundred. I watch it. It's just uh, historically completely inaccurate. Oh, of course it is. And it's, the thing it's is, based it's based on a movie. Comic book. It's but, not based but, on reality. But I'm saying it's based off of reality. And based com- off a comic book, based off reality. <laughs> okay, fine. It's twice removed, and there's some <laughs> by some an liberties. artist who's known for being ridiculous. <laughs> Ridicchio, <laughs> but I'm just saying he. Uh, it, it it was kind of. Um, I think the real story, like the real, like what actually happened uh, at Thermopylae and all that, was actually more interesting than the movie. That's and that true. concurs today's uh, Ed teaches us history. So, how you doing, Josh, over there? I am doing good. I'm just redoing Mr. Poopy. But, but what? What? Mr. Um, who? Mr. Who? Poopy butthole. <laughs> Jason says E.T. was a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Jay. I love that man. He I love that man of mine. Ben says, see, I try to keep it family uh, rated. And uh, Josh men- mentions nearly naked lady. Jeez, Josh. Hey, I didn't, you know, say the other words that could accompany that. I just said she's nearly naked. I didn't say anything else. And that concludes our lesson intact. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ooh-wee, come on down to the show next time and we'll talk about not saying cuss words ben Ooh. also agrees with jason that et was a documentary was it Ooh, yes. piece of candy Ooh, piece of candy ah, I'm captured. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what not to do don't follow trails of candy good <laughs> sometimes you'll need to learn the hard way <laughs> so uh see those reese's pieces you shouldn't go <laughs> As far as uh, the whole uh, Lord of the Rings thing, now let me let me ask you this: If your shirt, uh, if this comes in, it turns into a shirt, mm-hmm. or, or a poster, or a print, mm-hmm. uh, I'm on justjoshdraws.com. Mm-hmm. Are you going to consider doing the other movies? movies? Yeah, if people like, if people would like to. Now, are they all going to be Ricks? They're all going to be Ricks. It's Lord of the Ricks. So, I mean, if you're doing the genre, it's Lord. Now, of the what Ricks. was the second movie? The twin, the Twin Towers. So okay. you would say, you know, Lord of the Ricks. The the citadel or something i don't know Call i still it. think it was funny if it was just rick holding a sign that says the cia did it you know i just think it was just inappropriate what just saying i uh, know you do that a lot you just say yeah well i mean you know it's kind of like it's kind of what we do here on our draw cast you just draw and i talk uh, give me photoshop i'll be a little bit more productive <laughs> and john gives you angry eyes what i don't know just saying i'd have to bring in my own computer <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, as far as the Lord of the Ricks is concerned, I want to ask you. Um, so okay, so what's the third one? The, the third one is Return of the Rick or Return of the King. Now, do they split up the last one into two? Uh, is it just three movies? It's three movies. That's it. Okay, so it wasn't until like Twilight when they started taking trilogies and splitting the last one into part one, part two. Yeah, pretty much. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm just saying that's just a lot of movies. But it's also the fact that these movies are like a hundred f- hours long. Yep. I'm serious. Uh, like, yeah. No, I get it. Yeah. There's like there's like three hour, almost three hours, I believe. Mm-hmm. I, I could look it up, but I'm still inviting. Me people. and my mom used to have uh, all day marathons. We watched all three movies in one day. What? I would mm-hmm. go jump off a bridge. I watched yeah. like one. I, I watched Titanic like multiple times in different sittings, and and slowly felt part of my sanity seeping <laughs> out of my own face. I remember when my mother bought the Titanic on VHS. Yeah. Yeah. It the, came was in, that that double VHS thing? It, it, was, it was two separate VHSs yes. or something yeah. like that. Yeah, we used to have Lord of the Rings on VHS. It was like a ton of VHS. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, so I guess I'll um, since we're talking about Titanic and and all that. And ben says Ed told me once all he does well is talk. It's not wrong. He's definitely not wrong. So I went to um, what? I'm just serious. I went to um, so since so we're talking about long movies like Lord of the Rings and all that, mm-hmm. I uh, I went to go see Titanic once uh, when it first came out, and I was like, wow, that's that's a really cool movie. It's long, but it's really cool, and I like the way they did it. And that that was that. And then a week later, this girl I know who's a friend who's like, I really want to see that movie. And I'm like, okay, because, you know, okay, you know, let's go see it. So we went to go see that movie again. 
And then uh, my buddy was like, oh, man, I got paid. Let's go see Titanic. And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> He's like, yeah, let's go see Titanic. And I'm like, do you know it's like a romantic love story and you want to go with your bro? And he was like, let's go see Titanic. And I was like, let's just go see Titanic. So we went to go watch Titanic again. So this is my third time into it, right? Three, six, nine hours of my life has been wasted. Telling well, him, there's room on the raft. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's room, room on the door. Mythbusters proved it. There's <laughs> room. So um, don't let him die, you jerk. So so now we got all that we so so now you know where we're at in this context. Uh, here here's the uh, where it gets funny. Then I had a blind date. My friend hooked me up with a blind date, and I I went out to you know meet her. And I was thinking we can go to a restaurant and talk, and we can do that and this and the other. And she's from out of town, so she didn't know anybody. And I was like, you know, and she was really pretty. And I was like, why not? And then we go out, and the first thing she says is. Um, did you have any, uh, what did you have planned for today? And I was like, oh, I was thinking we do this, 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 and this. And I was like, you know, I was hoping maybe we could see Titanic. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that to her face, but that's how I felt inside. So I went to go see Titanic. So Bam. I went to go see Titanic. Now, by this time, here's the truth. Uh, I was sitting there and I watching it and I'm sitting here thinking, uh, I, I, we got like the giant tub of popcorn. She wants the giant tub of por- popcorn. I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I know the people who own the place. I'll get the small tub, and then I'll just keep refilling it. And she says, yeah, but we'll go through that pretty fast. And I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> it was the same thing with the drinks, because this was over at Metro uh, back before that place closed down. So uh, I, you know, I got the small drink and the small uh, popcorn, and I just kept going out to the front and refilling it. She's, I mean, they had waitresses that come to the the table and do it for Fair you but right yeah. but i wanted to go uh so what happened was we'll talk about that in a minute when i'm done um so uh what happened was i'm sitting here eating the popcorn and i get one of those kernels you know kind of like tig welded to the top of my my throat mm-hmm. and i'm sitting here and it's the time it's the point uh, and i'm sorry i'm sorry spoilers ahead just to let you know spoilers ahead this is the scene where yes they're on the door and he's freezing to death and you know, and uh, I'm starting to get a little uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. in the back of my throat. Yep. Yeah. So what happens is um, you haven't lived till you've seen an entire theater of 300 people turn around and give you the crappy look. Like, like just here and there, they'll be turning around and they're giving me like, you need to shut up. You know? I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem. So the next thing that happened was I um, kept pounding down more popcorn, kept... Uh, and I reached over and grabbed the drink because I knew it was like really bad in the back of my throat. And I, and I, and I was going to make that horrible <laughs> noise one last time. And I didn't want to do that. So I, out of respect, took a drink and gargled. <laughs> he has such really weird uh, I, I don't, like, I'm And I gargled at the moment that Jack let That she had to let go of Jack <laughs> So that poor dead bastard Is sinking to the bottom <laughs> And I'm gargling in the back And literally everybody in the theater Turned around and stared at me And gave me the most devil Like I want you to die right now Look. <laughs> Needless to say I never went on that I never went out with her again you never went back to that movie theater. Oh, no, I went back plenty of times, but I, I, I just didn't see Titanic. I, I devoted <laughs> – and you know how, like, when it comes back on DVD, you have to watch it one more time? Of so course. 3, 6, 9, 12, like 15 hours of my life has been stuck watching Titanic. Jason and Ben have been lighting it up in the comments. What's going on? What is it? What are they saying? I'm still doing this. First, Ben asks, uh, do you remember the movie Wild Things? Oh, jeez. Okay. Then- this is a family show. <laughs> Go ahead. Then Ben says, um, well, I took my first date to see the movie, and the sad part was that it was her choice. I wasn't surprised when she came out a few uh, a few, le- few le- years later. I can't talk. I'm, I need a nap. <laughs> um, Where's your coffee? Oh, you have the monster. Monsters you normally have this giant, di- giant barrel, of, barrel of caffeine. And then uh, Jason puts, the poor girl assumed that Ed was revolted by her and kept finding reasons <laughs> to walk out. And that's why you didn't go on another date. Um, oh, I never actually thought about that. That might have been it. He was like, yeah, I'm, just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go get a refill. Berkey says, my blind. apologies for not being very active. I'm doing homework. But I want to say that it looks awesome, buddy. Thank you. 
I'm trying. And then Ben says, the worst part for Ed is that was a very true story. It very was, yes. I've actually tr- – uh, I had to dovetail that into a comedy bit, but I've dovetailed into a comedy bit because it was funny and uh, it was frightening at the same time. I swear to God, those people were going uh, – I, I, I'm surprised no one threw anything at me. I hear somebody in the back going, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. It's a little little – a bit much there, but okay. <laughs> Have you ever done it? So you've ever fall asleep in a theater, John? Well, there was this one time. <laughs> okay. That yeah, band can't. No. Um, it, it, I play clarinet. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't really falling asleep. I just lost complete track of time because of certain activities I was partaking in before. So yeah. You were drunk. No. Ish. No. <laughs> the other type of drunk. Okay. Yeah. And then you were, but you, what movie, do you remember what movie? Twilight New Moon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just yeah. remember going into the theater and then walking out like 30 minutes later. See, I'm just kind of glad that we're. That in my brain, it seemed like only 30 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Can't remember. I was about to say, you left 30 movie. minutes yeah. into the movie? No. Nope. That's not even before it gets really good. My brain left. <laughs> it didn't leave. It, did, it doesn't get really good forever. It never got really good. That was my. That was my. Yeah, I like the Twilight series. I glittery vampires. You lost me right at glittery vampires. <laughs> I got stuck watching them, and um, yeah, they were a big thing, like two thousand nine, two thousand eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Let's see. So I decided to make another Morty uh, Smeagol, uh, and then I'm gonna make all the Meeseeks the writers. For continuity reasons, if you know anything about Lord of the Rings, you know that whoever Smeagol is, he was actually of the same species pretty much as Frodo. So he's like a hobbit, pretty much. So I figured it would work to make him creepy. And, like, what if Morty was just, like, Jack Dudley is messed up, dude? Like, Well, I thought you were about to say he was, like, what if he was, like, jacked up, like, like ripped? No. Creepy and crazy, yeah. He is what you could become if you could. Go after the ring, the rick of power. Ben also says Ed thought he was going to be lynched. Yes, I really. It was. It was. Well, bad. vampires do walk in daylight if they're blade. Whistler, I, you know, chopping people's heads off. So. And Ben, how do you know that vampires don't sparkle? Have you seen one in real life? <laughs> they're usually out. Stay in very vigorous, Ed. Okay. Good, good, good to see you. Us. Goodbye, Jason. Have a good day. Have a good day, Jason. Thank you be good, good Jay. Day. I love that man. He knows me. I've been friends with him for 150 years. Wow. Are you a vampire? Feels like it sometimes. Oh, okay. Oh, I have too many friends on my Facebook. I'm too popular. Are you still inviting people? Yep. I know. We're half over. But still... <laughs> You, you can you can watch it anyway. You know you can like get on here and be like, watch it. Eleanor says they were cool movies, Ed. Oh, hi mom. Eleanor. Hi mama. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and uh, we're gonna be boosting one another post tonight. Uh, we boosted the other post for the Rick and Morty contest. Uh, Josh did. And did you do five dollars a day? Is that what it was? Six something. A day or something. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up doing probably. Uh, two days for ten bucks. And Ben corrected you, Josh. What? Blade was only half vampire. He does not count. He's still a vampire. He still has to drink blood. What are you talking about, Ben? What are these qualifications are you talking about? <laughs> uh, are we really gonna start? Debating? And there's also Celine from uh, from Underworld. <laughs> I'm spacing out. I'm sorry. Oh man, this sucks. <laughs> Your mother says, hi, baby. Hi. Oh, don't, don't do that. That's so weird, you saying that. Hearing you say hi, baby, and looking at me like that. That's so weird. Hi, hi baby. Just, <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? That's a little freaky, man. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Is your like, day going well? Like, See, when I try doing Morty, I, try, I go into Shaggy. Like, wow. like, Scoob. like, I don't know why we're doing this, man. It's not going to be good. <laughs> Roar of the Ring. <laughs> Roar of the Ricks. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Like, wow, Scoob. 
See, I, I, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I, I, I don't listen to myself doing these, doing these voices. I, I would like recorded myself and tried. Dude, I don't it. do that either. Most of my voices, I just do it the first time, and if people think it sounds the same, I just keep doing it. If I don't, if it doesn't sound good, I just. Stop. So you haven't worked on Stewie? No, it just came out one day. I was, just, <laughs> I was just playing, watching Family Guy, and at some point, how the hell do you just? Nail, zo- z- z- so, nail Stewie right off the bat. You watch it long enough. Your brain knows how to do it. It's just so crazy. The trick is that I try to picture what people's faces are doing when they do the voice. So Ben has another statement for you. Okay. Either way, Ben, she's still a vampire who can walk in daylight. Okay? <laughs> it's, it's not, this it's not is like a mashup she's between not. Rick and Morty. <laughs> Underworld. <laughs> Underworld. <laughs> we're gonna do blade, we blade, in, the blade in there, yeah. Should, you know what we should have done? I mean, other if we weren't doing the Rick and Morty contest and we did the mashup between Rick and Morty and all that, we should have made our own uh, Justice League, but crossing all genres, crossing all, you know, like first it would be Blade. <laughs> and, and Dude, then, that reminds me. We got to get everybody to vote on what they'd like to see in um, the next live stream because – it's yeah. not going to be Rick and Morty related, so yeah. definitely not. So we need to get ideas of what you guys would like to see now that the Rick and Morty thing need kick all is over. the ideas. That's not bad, man. I would like to. We we need to figure that we out. Need votes. Got to get votes. Got to get votes. <clears throat> Got to get all your votes. Put them in a bag. Got to get the votes, that? Morty. Yeah, the, the votes are important. If we don't have the votes, it's like it's like it's not, like it never happened. We need to jump to a reality where we won the contest already. <laughs> I can't wait for the day where Ed doesn't do that voice. Hey. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it either, but it's, I can, it's better than Morty. It's better than my Morty. My Morty just sounds like I'm neutered. <laughs> well, like I said, Scoop. You see, this, my Morty is, is shaggy. <laughs> do again. You will be. What? What? <laughs> They're both horrible vampires. Yes. Not like real vampires. Like back in the day when there was like Blackula. And like um, dark, uh, what was it? The Darkwing Duck? It was no, no, Dark Darkwing Duck was like Batman. Uh, Those are some really interesting choices, Ben. <laughs> Justice League composed of Blade, Spawn, Darth Vader, Barbarella, Tangirl. <laughs> Where the hell did you? What? What? That's. Uh, are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, Robert. Family show. <laughs> I'd like, rather not talk about that right there. It's a very scary. Wow. Like, can you imagine the ring race, though, as Mr. Meeseeks? So do, instead do they, of they them, don't say anything. So you know how, like, they're quiet and then you hear that scream sound that comes from them all the time? Oh, God. You just hear. And then it's like. Look at me. Like in the wind, like their faces never move, but you just hear and look at me all the time. And then <laughs> Rick's like, <laughs> I don't even know how to do Rick, Dolph. I have no idea. What it's... I'm still trying so, to so do Gan- Here, try it. Let's try it together. Do Gandalf. We see like, um, <laughs> or whatever the hell. And then <laughs> <laughs> you, start laughing you, start laughing. you must begin your quest, Frodo Baggins. Rudy Buggins. Yes. Berkey says Christmas stuff. By the way, that's that's her suggestion. But it's a Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> Next week? No, we'll be past Thanksgiving. You're right. All right. Well, I wanted to do like a legit Christmas special. <laughs> okay. What's your thought? I don't know. No, this is. I'm gonna have my Christmas hat. I want to do like. I want to have. Like this is I, okay. I've heard green you talk and blue about background. Oh, gonna, and we got no green and blue background. Uh, green and blue. Hang some garland. I'll go get some cheap decorations and put them up behind. I'll wear my Christmas sweater. Be really hot. Be jingle really hot. bells, jingle say. bells, jingle, really jingle bells, Josh. Josh. Jingle oh. bells, Josh. Jingle yeah. bells, Josh. Jingle Manger bell. Jingle bells, Josh. No, Ben. <laughs> no more Rick and Morty. No, and I would just prefer not to get struck by lightning, please. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. <laughs> Hey, if Josh, if God's watching, then he needs to be, he's probably on Twitch <laughs> because we have a hard time monitoring that one. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, Josh. Jingle bells, Josh, Josh, draws. He's going to be um, sketching and 
fetch it. No, I got nothing. Drawing <laughs> stuff. Drawing <laughs> stuff. Hey, it's the jingle. B- Josh, Josh, just, just Josh. Yeah, you're, you're, you're failing. Uh, you, just well, stop. I don't you see you trying, so stop. at least I tried. You yeah. can't just make up a song on the Did part. I just block nope. Ben? Oh, no. Okay. There <laughs> Sorry, I thought I accidentally blocked Ben. That would have been so terrible. He's like our biggest fan. You I can't. Know. <laughs> ben has been blocked from the stream. We're sorry. Okay. Uh, Bricky says you should do uh, do like the traditional Christmas thing, like mash childhood movies like Rudolph, Rossi, and current Christmas movies or superheroes. A very Justice League Christmas thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know, dude, that, how that works. Well, we did The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, we can do Frosty the Snowman. Um, maybe Loki, have, like, all the movies. Loki holding a BB gun and Thor yelling at him, you'll shoot your eye out. There you go. <laughs> he turned into a snake. And then when <laughs> <laughs> he tried to <laughs> Ben also says, Ed blocked me would be nothing new. I didn't block you. I just keep pushing the button. Jeez. My button, when I push the like button, mm-hmm. it uh, taps. Play me on that. Superman versus Luke and, versus the Darkness versus Jack the Pumpkin King. What? Jack the Pumpkin King. have grown so tired of the sound of screams. That's my jam, dude. I love it. Oh, someone who thinks I am so uh, I mean, we can figure we can figure out the Christmas thing. I'm just trying to figure out. How, so you want to wear? You know the aesthetics. You want the garland. You want the hat. I'm just talking about like for here, not like. No, I know. I mean, like creating an ambiance. Like I like the idea of doing themed episodes. So if we have like, you know, like if I had it, I would have showed up here today with Gandalf's hat and a beard, and I'm like today I'm just just draws. <laughs> today I'm just draws. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be. We're gonna be. Making, we're making a ring. <laughs> ben yeah, says the guardian is crossed with Star Wars. Berkey says, or do the Avengers and Justice League in a Christmas sweater? Like, a, like at a party, like a Christmas party. Or like the scene just before Age of Ultron, where they're all hanging out. But the, what if that was a Christmas party? The, yeah, the creepy uh, all office to lift like Thor's hammer. Office oh, wait. Christmas party. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's like it's not quite. Don't drink the eggnog. <laughs> Tony spiked it. No. <laughs> He's like nothing wrong with a little Christmas cheer in your. Don't you do Punisher? I'll have to do like uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do something like that. Like get a bunch of characters, iconic characters together for a Christmas party. You know what my favorite? Okay, have you ever watched American Dad? Oops, I wrote rings. <laughs> what you wrote rings? <laughs> you ever watch uh, American Dad? Radagast. I'm not like Radagast. He has like literal bird poop on his head all the time. <laughs> all the Spider-Man symbiotes in Xmas party. <laughs> do you want to kill Spider-Man? Yes, yes I do. You know what I want for Christmas? I would like Spider-Man dead. Should do a, a, a so scene nice. of um, awkward um, secret Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I still think the idea of... Uh, uh, you know, like an awkward secret Santa and um, what's his face? Thor pulling out a snake and then it turns into Loki and stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, brother. Every, Every year. year. <laughs> it's not Christmas until I've been shot. I've been stabbed. <laughs> but uh, Berkey's knows what I'm talking about with American Dad. They have run with a, uh, a, a thing every year where um, they do a Christmas special. But uh, it's usually Santa trying to kill the Smiths. And it's hilarious. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Just do Santa as like like the Punisher or something. <laughs> F is for family. Berkey yeah. says I need to watch F is for family if I like American Dad. So I will I'll check it out. I'll be okay with that. Is that online? Is that on Netflix? Mm, maybe you hear you. Mm, where would I find it? Where would I find it? Torrance. What are you doing? What? The hell are you doing? That, that was my stewing. Was that not a good one? No. I It okay. sounded like someone else entirely. Like someone like trying to do an impression of Stewie? Possibly. <laughs> it was costly. See, the concept of that, like villains and, and like mixing those types of things Neat together tricks. or something, it's interesting. So it would be like, he Ben suggested the villains of Gotham doing 
Secret Santa. The no, Grinch, Grinch told, um, stole Christmas scene. Oh, what are like the Joker stealing Christmas? You're a mean one, Mr. Joker. There you go. Your face is like poker. <laughs> Poker face. <laughs> I've the, stolen their roast beast. You just got the Joker Batman. face. Batman. Berkeley says, yes, it's on Netflix. Netflix. Thank you, Berkeley. It's on Netflix. Why did you go to Irish right after you were in that one? I'm just... You know Netflix. What? Thank oh, you, Berkeley. You. So oh, sweet. thank you, Berkeley. Thank you for telling me about the Netflix and the office for family. I'll check it out. Lord of the Ricks. It's like a fellowship of the Ricks. Oh, that's what it is. Fellowship is the first one? Yeah. It would make sense movie-wise, because think about it. So this is the story of Lord of the Ricks. So Lord of the Ricks, one evil Rick, decided to make Ricks, ring Ricks of power and give them to all the other Ricks that rule all the other multiverses. So he gave them to the Elf Ricks. The man ricks, the dwarf ricks, <laughs> all the ricks in every alternate universe to control them. And these ricks, and then he made himself into a ring <laughs> so that he could, uh, ah, that's Robin's ring. Um, <clears throat> keep them coming, guys. We're gonna have to write all these down. Go look in the comments. Put them in a backpack, put them in there, Just put them all in. Um, Hey, I'd be. I, I'm telling you guys, we need suggestions for movies. You guys want to see us do the voice? Like, if you guys want to see us do the script readings, you got to suggest movies. Like, guys, suggest. I'm ready. <laughs> so go ahead and tell me about uh, the Lord of the Ricks. How does that? So work basically, he starts. He has the one Rick ring to rule them all, and one then Rick after that, they have to get the Fellowship of the Ricks together to stop this ultimate Rick, Sal Rick. Says Sauron, I guess. I don't know. And then Morty and the other Mortys that live in the Morty Shire, uh, <laughs> they're all. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, Hobbit Shire, got it. My friend and I were talking about last night how he knows how to make a Hobbit house, and he said, "I'm just one. I just want to buy a little bit of land to make a Hobbit house." It's like Jesus. Okay, those things don't look comfortable at all. Well, I mean, you they, make it. They made large. them in New Zealand, right? Yeah, you can go visit them. Would you ever like to do that? Go. Yeah. Ben wants to see Red Dawn. Uh, us to read Red Dawn. <laughs> I've never even <laughs> seen that. You never. I've actually seen Red Dawn. Which one? The fr- uh, second one, actually. The the the. You remake. should watch the first one. Well, the remake, well, because the first one was Russians and the next one was Koreans. Yeah, they're both good. Yeah, I know. Wolverines. <laughs> I like the first one better. Yeah. You can. Cloudy with a chance to meet Balti. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy the ones they made. There's a leak in the boat. Ah! Like, uh, <laughs> you can buy the ones they made. Uh, uh, Aurora says you can buy the ones they made in uh, in New Zealand. Yeah, they're starting to make uh, Hobbiton like an actual place you can live. Like they're trying to. It's a tourist area too. So then, just like the Lord of the Rick Rings, the Lord of the Ricks, they would uh, gather up the finest warriors to take the ring to mount doom well yeah they would they'd basically to my, to get mount. together all of the main ricks so like the oldest rick is gandalf uh gandrick the gray and um Rick-Dolf. rickdolf gandrick gandrick i don't know gandrick sounds cool rickdolf almost sounds like he's a rapper i have seen hey ben come on i've seen a lot of movies okay but you know not red dawn i'm sorry didn't mean to let you down <laughs> ben says jaws Boss Baby is a good one, according to Brookies. <laughs> Cookies are for closers. I actually saw that with him. So. <laughs> oh, you saw. Okay. Sorry. Boss Baby yeah, with Brookies. See, I'm trying to think of more iconic movies, Brookies. Like not not all new, not necessarily new ones. Like ones that everybody knows and loves. Like uh, like when I went to go see the one in the in the show, it was Princess Bride because Princess Bride has huge like cult following and i actually have it and watched it and it's one of my favorite movies too and that was hilarious because the lines were so like so much funnier when you hear like patrick warburton as the princess <laughs> like kills me it's like the princess asked west was afraid of for wesley losing his life and then he's the joker and he's like 
I will return. Like he's he's like, <laughs> and then she looks at him. She goes, but how can you be sure? Like <laughs> just too many like Peter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just killed me. Like all those scenes, dude. Like, and then hearing Squidward narrating the whole thing. <laughs> Princess Buttercup. Like, it was just... It was just <laughs> <laughs> Her true love. So we, need, so we need suggestions always uh, for movies that we're going to be doing. Uh, ben says Grease. Grease! <laughs> or it. We'll actually have to do the musical parts, too. <laughs> <coughs> well, I mean, like... Tell me more. And then we got to figure out what more. voices we're going to do. <laughs> bottom. Bottom. <laughs> bottom, <laughs> bottom, <laughs> bottom, <laughs> bottom. Isn't that the Pink Panther song? No, no, sure. no. Yeah. no, it wasn't. Yeah. It was a weird mix. It was a mix with you. <laughs> it was a, we- a mix between you. <laughs> I know. That's how I do it. He changed yeah. it toward the end back to Greece. <laughs> it started off as Pink Panther. <laughs> I'm gonna go check our I'm, low energy here. Sorry. I am going to go check our uh, our our positioning. In uh, she look like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yes, yes, yes. Um, where where, uh, where where are we? Okay, there we go. I'm trying to find uh, here. Oh, and I, I would like to do a quick uh, shout out to uh, Famous Faces and Funnies. Uh, they were mm-hmm. uh, very awesome in uh, um, reposting the the, the, the the all the all the things all the things they they just did I the mean, promos. Yeah, they promoted us to death, and that was great, and I appreciate it. And I believe they're probably a reason why we're jumping up and, um, I mean, I, like I said, we've been putting flyers all over the place, but I think they're a main reason why we did it. Uh, but what we're going to need from you guys out there in the near future is uh, obviously to vote for the Rick and Morty contest. If you are in the group, we are offering a, um, a discount code for JustJoshDraws.com. It's not anything dramatic, but it's a nice little thank you from us to you. So if you want to see if you go to JustJoshDraws.net.com, damn it and see anything that you might like feel free to put it in your cart uh but first in order to get the code this is all you need to do you just need to send us a screenshot you got to be in the group you got to be in the group it's a group exclusive so you got to be in just shots draws group facebook the, group face group group i should say i should yeah i should really for all of you on twitch and, <laughs> and youtube yeah, and then you might want to get on facebook and do that so what, what the next thing you do is uh you take that and uh, you'll take a screenshot of you actually doing the five stars. And don't fret anybody who hasn't has already voted. And you, if you go back to the link, it'll show the five stars highlighted from your last vote. So you could do it that way as well. Yeah. And then uh, generally within 24 to 48 hours, I will send you a, uh, a the discount code. And it's that's it. It's, uh, <laughs> ben, you're funny. What did Ben say? I'm not. Uh, I'm not paying attention to Ben right now. What do he do? What, what do he he do? says, "Why isn't FFF making a donation to get Josh to MegaCon?" Because they're doing. They're they're working their FFF off. So they got a lot of stuff going on, and they have to get to MegaCon too as vendors. So it's lots to do, man. And I understand they're doing all they can. There's a reason why Ben's not our manager. <laughs> right, be a good manager. He would cut throat. That's what a good promotion manager does. That's why we have you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a TD. Thank you. You're a production guy, right? Yeah. You see, you, you're literally humming the, the Lord of the Rings song. This is kind of complicated. I mean, I mean, we're just going to keep it in the lines, all right? Maybe, maybe some shade. Oh, so I'm the only one talking? Why didn't you tell me that? Josh is saying he doesn't have time to do the whole piece today. Why didn't you tell me that you turned his mic off? It's so strange when you turn Josh's mic off. It's just Josh talking. He should be talking, but he's not. Can't hear you. you. One, two, three, four. I'm counting our place. Five. Six. Oh, we dropped the seventh place. Dang it. Um, the high IQ t-shirt. 
is that's in sixth place right that's now. That's the one we've been struggling against from the you know lately. The new new guy that popped up. And so the, you can hear uh, Josh now. I turn his mic back on. But hey okay, well we're in seventh place. We got down to fifth place. That's that's no that's no easy feat. Like I said in the end, I you know we do we we do want to get as high as we can. But like I said, there there are variables, so I'm not freaking out just. Yet. Oh, Ed Ed can't talk for once. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. It's all you. You're running solo. Oh no. I'm on my own. With no one here beside me. I don't know why I start singing when I'm uncomfortable. I'm, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, promote the jaw. I uh, promote the get Josh to MegaCon link. Uh, don't have, have to do no. We we, we, we have like uh, we have other things we gotta worry about at the moment. We have time. We don't, have time. Don't worry about it, Ben. It's okay. Besides, most of the people who want to go see Jim Lee or just still want to go to MegaCon because we want to go to MegaCon. He actually wants to go there with a reason. So we got time. It's it'll be okay. Just chill. <laughs> be cool. for now like <laughs> megacons in march right uh yeah you definitely need like 400 some odd dollars to get the tickets and then you'd have to front the gas and the driving back and forth at the hotel or whatever so that's you that's all you uh but if we could actually hit the main goal then that would be awesome we can you can get a place for the weekend and you know have gas there and back. It's not like we're asking for. Oh, and we want, we want, you know, caviar. He says, promote it now. Yeah, telling me what to do always works. <laughs> um, <laughs> how long have you known me, Ben? Come on, dude. Seriously, I appreciate you, Ben. Now I tell you. Uh huh. Although we do appreciate your hustle, Ben. I will tell you that much. We do. Yes, Berkis. I don't see why he said yes, Berkey's Berkey's insane. But did I miss that? Yeah, I, I think she may have agreed with him on something earlier, but it seemed like she was asking. Oh, well, maybe he's like yes, Berkey's. Like he's like he's asking for support. Is that too much when you make it to Berkey's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, we. John is just uh, tweaking mics and stuff here. Good. So, how do you feel about um, having guests in the in, 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 sitting in with us? So I always notice that our best shows are usually when we have guests involved. I just need to be more awake in general when we have shows. It's been a really got to get to a point where this is not as complicated to get some sleep and stuff. <laughs> ben says he knows where you live and he will bother you when you sleep. I don't know who he's talking to. You. He you doesn't know where I live. <laughs> yes, he empty, does. That's an empty threat. He doesn't know where I live. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he he's really like, doesn't. He's like, I may or may not have. Oop. Back it up. The adhesive gave out. Just Josh modifies the. There you go. Well, it looks good. It looks crazy. I, I don't understand how you do this, man. Here's the thing. The thing about Josh that always gets me is his ability to analyze the style of art. Like, uh, what, what have you done? Like, um, uh, amazing. I, I don't think you've done Gumball yet, or if you have, I haven't seen it. But I know you've done Pokemon. I know you've done uh, Steven Universe. Uh, you've done Adventure Time. Was Adventure Time. You've done a whole bunch of these different kinds. And what always seems to get me, especially like with the Rick and Morty stuff, you <laughs> always seem to figure out how to, you know, figure out how to get the, the style down. What's Ben saying now? Ben says, John, tell me where Ed lives. He lives in 1920. I have no clue. <laughs> Streets. It's five minutes away, so start looking. It's five minutes away from the studio. So what you need to do is find out where the studio is. First. Find out where the studio is, then watch him go home and track his his location. It's going to be an interesting day. We, well, I was talking about bringing guests on. It's going to be an interesting day when we have Berkey sit in. The, sit in. It's going to be an interesting day when we have... Uh, Ben says Josh should do a Doctor Who comic style and I agree 100% you should 
Didn't you do something like that for a wedding gift? Yes, mine. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that I was, was wondering if he was going to. I didn't know that was you. Go ahead and mute your mic and flip it the other way again. No, it's fine this way. Okay. I don't care. No, I just was bringing it out there. Yo, love. I'm definitely going to switch <laughs> your mic with his in the next one. Oh, okay. Why? Because it has a better pickup, so when he's leaning away drawing. Yeah. It'll... Yeah, we can sit here and talk straight into the mic yeah. when he's got he's to like, hunch over and do all that. Mm-hmm. Understandable. That or someone goes on my Amazon wish list in order to that shotgun mic. <laughs> <clears throat> I see a lot can of we people that like too? cosplayers. Can, 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 we, can we do, can we no. get can I tell Ben to just put no. the link up everywhere too? <laughs> no. That's it. That's my Christmas. Uh, Ed also needs a portable <laughs> LED uh, <laughs> uh, photo studio. <laughs> my wife asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I made an Amazon wish list. <laughs> There's like 20 items on there, ranging from you know 30 dollars to a lot of money. <laughs> you choose. Is it one of those things where if your wife gets you the thing that's a lot of money, you're gonna get pissed off because she spent a lot of money? Well, yeah, of course. But no, the wish list is the stuff that I'm reminding myself that I really want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and usually she picks from there anyway, so, you know. Ben says, right, you guys, don't not want me in studio because then I would have to bring my two kids with me. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, probably not. Yeah, just Josh Daycare. <laughs> that would be a little awkward. Find a babysitter, Ben. If you cared to join us, yes, you would require a babysitter. Hand cramping, hand cramping. (coughs) Really? I don't think I've ever seen that happen. It happens every live stream. I just don't see anything. It's just especially bad today. (laughs) You want me to, like, go over there and punch your hand? No. Who punches? Who punches a hand? (laughs) Oh, hey. Oh, oh, our oh. favorite barista girl. What? Christina Weaver. You're here. Hey. Hello. Made it. <laughs> Don't get uh, shocked at our, uh, you're on, f- she's on Facebook. Okay. We're Facebook. also streaming on Twitch and, and YouTube. So our, our numbers aren't quite as meager as they look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair warning. Uh, it's good to have you with us. Yes. Christina? She is uh, one of the, uh, one of our favorite baristas over at uh, Starbucks. <laughs> And um, are, uh, I don't know. She's probably not working right now, but I'm wondering if those flyers I put up on Friday are still there. Ben says Absolutely. he'll be broke. He'll. Um, I will leave them with Barkeith. <laughs> Barkeith is like, I don't even know you. I don't need no more kids around here. I don't think Barkeith has kids. She doesn't have kids. She has fur baby. She has a fur baby? Yeah, dog. Still a kid. No, technically. I don't <laughs> Just know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're doing Lord of the Rings. Here it is so far. Uh, what do you think? Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the way uh, Christina, this is the way we do it. Uh, what she, what uh, what we do is we get uh, ideas from the audience, uh, and then we kind of, well, Josh kind of sketches it out lightly, and then he erases it lightly, and then goes over it in uh, darker ink. And normally he would color it, but with such a intricate piece, I don't think that's going to happen today. No. But he's redoing the comic. Uh, it's not the comic. The uh, she hasn't been there since Thursday. Oh yeah, you did say that, didn't you? She doesn't know. She couldn't tell you. Ed. It's my day off. Why you ask me about work? <laughs> Leave me alone, Ed. I just need to know. I, I, I just need to know. She's getting a well-deserved break. <laughs> well, we were uh, we uh, we went all the way to fifth place, and we dropped down to sixth place, and then we dropped down. To, wait, we were anyway. We're in seventh place right now again. Uh, but we were in fifth place for like 10 minutes and uh, that's still fine by me. I'm not even worried about that. The the thing is, all you got to do is ask you guys to share and share and share and share. If you guys have voted, great. If you have a Steam account, you can vote again. Just tell all your friends and tell them to, we're trying to bring a local Melbourne boys trying to get a W. So we're trying to win. We're, try, we're trying to win. We're trying to get this done. It's going to be fun. And that's, uh, we that's win. basically it. So Ed feels we accomplished. <laughs> be nice. I promoted something. It would be very helpful, it guys. Worked. Truthfully, you know, things with the with the studio would, would be able to be improved. A lot of stuff we could do. Anything, more options come up if we win this contest. So, you know, your support means a lot. And so we thank you for it. And let's just get this done and win. I'm going to geek out so much when I go to the store and see it in the store. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Brakeesh just said, what's being left with me? I totally zoned out. 
<laughs> children. Ben's children. So that Ben can... was uh, voluntolding you uh, to, uh, you know, watch, his watch the kids. He could be on the live stream. And I'm like, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think it should be cool. I don't think it works like that. We've I built th- a community here. I, as much as. None as, of us have met each other in person. As much as. Uh, as much as that's hilarious about the concept of having him, um, <laughs> uh, having him drop his kids off with Berkeys, it says more about Ben that um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just drop you off with a complete stranger. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, uh, Berkeys? She's you know, she's uh, she, you know, we have a similar interest, <laughs> so she's got to be good people. She is good people. No, I'm just saying, you know, she's my buddy. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you wouldn't leave your kids with somebody you don't know. I, I'm, I'm putting into question you're, you're Ben's parenting. You're digging yourself a hole. Because if, <laughs> because if you really think about it, it's just like, okay, well, okay, let's go. I'm sure Osama bin Laden may have liked Pokemon. <laughs> you know? I still wouldn't leave him with Nope, nope, kid. nope, nope, nope. <laughs> My babysitting days are over, laugh out loud, Perky says. I don't blame her. Called it. I tell you. <laughs> And, uh, I ain't doing that crap. So, I'm out, monster. Whoa! All right, you okay? Yeah. Everything's good. So good, Morty. <laughs> just send your drawing swords. Ben says it was just a joke, Berkies. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I have someone that will watch them. <laughs> like. I don't know. Someone. Eventually. I'll get I get Uber to watch them. Bricky says, I worked at a daycare and then re- uh, realized how much I don't want a child yet. Laugh out loud. I need to live. It took you that long to realize you don't want a child yet? <laughs> in the voice of Josh, but. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Work stories. Oh. In the voice of Josh, but you could live? What, what, what was, what was I was so done on a call once when I first started it at my job, and a lady was giving me all these hypotheticals, and she would not stop. And she was like, I could die, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but ma'am, there's been no proven incidents of death in these situations and we can't speculate on things that haven't happened yet but i could die and i'm like but you could live like i actually said it i said it on the phone and luckily nobody she heard her me. life around and now's the drug counselor yeah luckily nobody heard me on the phone because i would have gotten my line turned off and gotten in trouble but um i kind of spaced and it happened and then and ben so says they won't let me live it down because comes up all the time ben says nah we will force my wife to take the day off you know i i honestly think that we should consider making a t-shirt that just says and ben says <laughs> <laughs> listen here you're no one take this day off so i can go and play on the live stream well i can do the same thing i'm doing now but you know they can't ignore me <laughs> <laughs> he's in the room man yeah. also Wait, we got duct tape we can mute him <laughs> My jump. phone just quit on Facebook. Who? What? Christina says her phone just quit on Facebook. Oh. Get a new phone. But she's okay. You can also watch us on YouTube, you know. Or Switch. If you're on Switch. <laughs> yeah, Berkeley, you as in uncomfortable. That was another one. What? I did a Matthew McConaughey impression during our training class. And um, she, uh, she was the one I was calling. And she was sitting across the classroom. And I was just like Matthew McConaughey. So like I leaned back in my chair, you know, I leaned back and I was just like doing this and she could see me across the classroom uh, doing the finger. The, uh-huh. doing the, uh, and I was reading my VIN number. I was reading my VIN number to her and you have to do it phonetically. So I'm like, you know, F is in Frank, A is in Apple, the number one. And then I got to like it's the letter U. Phonetically, but I got, no, I got to the letter U. I mean like a uh, military kind of thing type yeah. thing where you just announce the letter. Bravo, Charlie, Delta, okay. yeah. yeah. So I looked at her and I look over and she's trying not to laugh. And I just said, you as in uncomfortable. And she just died. <laughs> like, and the thing is, is that can't come over on the speaker. So I was keeping in character. I didn't laugh. She just turned away and she's like, like she's just done. Like I was just sitting there trying not to laugh. I was like, yes, I got her. <laughs> My teacher is our teacher is just. <laughs> and Berkey you know still hates you. Calls. You know you loved them. They were fun. I remember. I don't remember who I called as Stewie. Um, but I was like in a mall parking lot. My scenario was like I was stranded with my kid, and my kid was Rupert. 
Like I just threw that in there, just ad libbed it. Uh, hold on. In order to get him on Twitch, it's just at just Josh Ross. Yeah. 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 Okay. At just Josh Ross. But um, Christina Weaver. <laughs> oh, hey Derek. 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 But yeah, no. Um. So yeah, I called like a bunch of times, and then we found out that another training class was in the other room, and they were going through the same thing. So the teachers asked permission, and they got permission for us to go through the same training scenarios every day, so we could call each other. So one one room was calling the other. Yep. So I would call, and I would get somebody, and I would just be Stewie, and they were not ready for it because the first day they they were everybody was being everybody was being serious, and he gets on the line, and the dude. <laughs> Then one day, Aaron, this guy, like she just mentioned, Aaron, he's her friend, and he tried. He was the guy like me in the class trying to mess with everybody. He was doing voices. Right. His voices are there, but they're not like they're not as there. good as Josh. So he gets on the line. <laughs> no, he, well, he was doing accents more than like oh, he was celebrity like voices. I was, so I do he gets on there and he starts talking like he's an Irishman, and I get on and I'm just like Stewie, and he couldn't handle it, dude. Like he he was like trying not to laugh on the line and he couldn't keep his accent together and I was just sitting here laughing and then we finally went in later to meet them for like a classroom luncheon or whatever where we got to meet our other students and he was like it's you we were like yeah <laughs> everybody was like well, you guys got some weird calls earlier today do you want to know who did that and then they're all trying to guess other people and they didn't know it was me I was just standing there in the room and eventually I just stepped forward I was like yeah I'm the one that bugged all of you guys when I was working <laughs> over at uh, one of these places there similar <clears throat> i had to come up with a whole list of things off of um dick sporting hmm. and i had to literally take this entire uh, so what i had to do is just go through like a basic sales call so i had to tell them what i had in my cart and what the SKU number was and this that, and the other or i could be as complicated as i wanted to so what i would do is i was <clears throat> you know the person would be like hi thank you for calling blah 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 you know this, uh, zed speaking i'm gonna help you or whatever um and what that's what the person was saying and i was on the other line being the customer and i went through um i basically made the creepiest cart i can come up with it was like, it was like so i'm on the phone it was like yeah i got rope i got the i got the 150 feet of rope i put that in there <laughs> okay and we got the rope here and that's gonna be okay and that's gonna be this much all right and a shovel and I need I got a shovel too so you gotta put that in there I got a shovel and then I gotta put the shovel in there okay and here's your total is there, is there anything else is a yeah I need that tarp I got that tarp can you put that I said some bungee cords as well I was like all right and is there anything else I say yes and a copy of Bambi <laughs> <laughs> dear God what <laughs> So, I mean, that was just fun. Yeah, dude, it, it, that's the best thing about about that. And that's the things I miss the most is, like, being able to mess with other classrooms and stuff. Because, like, freaking I haven't been Nobody gets fired. Well, no, like, they reviewed my calls later, and all the supervisors have my calls saved. Yeah. Like, and they get – and it's, like, a treat to other agents. They're, like, we'll show you some of these calls if you guys are good and, like, do your – meet your quotas and stuff for the month. So, they actually had, like, meetings where they show the calls and stuff. And I was, like – Really? Like they weren't that good. <laughs> Some of them were like twenty-five minute calls, especially the one at the mall where I was like stranded. Like I was like, this is, I'm here at the mall with my son Rupert, and and we've just been waiting in the food court for like I don't know three hours, and there's only so much chopped suey someone can eat. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just ranting and raving. <laughs> it was so much fun. And then one day, my uh, <laughs> my teacher. Um, she had a scenario where she picked the female version of the scenario and I picked the male version of the scenario. And this became like a nickname that we still call each other. She calls me Dougie and I call her Boo because I was Douglas, whatever, in the scenario, but I was Matthew McConaughey. And <laughs> she picked the scenario and she was the meanest person ever to um, one of the, I don't remember who she did it to, but she was on the scenario. She was my wife because it basically you're supposed to pick it as an alternate. So if uh, so if you're if you're a female, you pick your what? No, I ended up having to make him into a Morty because story wise, it didn't make any sense. So now there's a bunch of me seeks as a ring race. Yeah. So he's going to be like an alternate Morty that got that found the Rick Rick ring of power and it, it corrupted his mind. And so he's crazy. And yeah, something like that. I don't know. I'm still working on the storyline for that. But uh, <laughs> I love how he needs storylines. I like I have to. It's got to 
got to have a, a point to it or else there's no. Hey, Josh, when you got a second, can you fix the, the look at the, it's all crooked. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Level move. Anyways, back so to yes, the story. So, yes, you're saying. So, uh, God, where was I? Um mean person talking about oh yeah so she was a mean person and she was my wife and she was talking about it and she said because the person was was looking in a scenario and the contact record in our system shows up as one of them it doesn't show up as both so in our system we have we basically have to make an alternate we have to annotate that the spouse called but it stays the main contact so the contact was for douglas me so she's like she goes oh oh uh yeah that's my husband uh, i call him dougie and she just kept like riffing and so they filled it out and the thing is is we were both on the same call looking at each other because she was at her desk and i sat right in front of her so we were both trying not to laugh because we're messing with these people in the other classroom <laughs> and she's supposed to be it, was just, it became like this ongoing joke <laughs> it's always great when you find out they've been using your calls for training purposes <laughs> you know, um, actually, just on a completely side note, uh, the artwork that I've done and the artwork that Josh has done for college, uh, the old teachers actually still use them as uh, examples of fine work. I didn't know that. Yeah. You didn't know that? No. I didn't think that they held on to our stuff specifically. No. Yeah. No, yeah. They, yeah. A lot of them have. Yeah. They, uh, they, you know, they say you're Austin. <laughs> Mr. Poopy Butthole. Is give me. I and Josh hates saying that. Ooh, wee, don't tell the elf. Ooh, wee. <laughs> you're gonna have to toss me. Ooh, wee. Ooh, that's that's really bad when you think about what his name is. You're gonna have to toss Mr. Poopy Butthole. Ooh, wee. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wrong. Why well, hold back then? <laughs> oh God. My fine piece of work is what is what uh, is what Ben means. <laughs> but anyhow, yes, that's uh, basically what the situation is with um, the school. And I, I I remember when I was doing um when I was doing the you know the customer service that a couple of my calls were you know good, but it was good in a you know work you know good work sort of way, not so much. You know, this was fun, or he handled this well, or anything like that. I never, uh, as far as school, you know, work is concerned, I never, I never did anything, had anything that cool. It would have been nice, but no, I didn't have anything like that. Look, man, I just hated phone. I hated, I hated customer service. I really do. I, I don't want to be doing it either anymore. I just, well, I have to. It's a necessary evil. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, like I said, dude. I almost gave in when I got that phone call, wanting to speak to Matthew McConaughey. I almost did it. I almost did it. Yeah, but that was on the floor. That would have been a problem. Yeah, I almost did. And, it and what made you want to do the Matthew McConaughey voice in there? And how would it have gone? So, so the, what was the, the guy called, and he had apparently been yelling at everybody at Lincoln. And he got me, and I'm in Ford. I'm not at Lincoln. So I couldn't help him to begin with. And he's like, who the heck do I got to talk to, huh? What do I got to call? What do I got to talk to Matthew McConaughey? And then I just stopped, and everything froze. <laughs> everything froze for a moment in time, and I said, is my job worth it? And I didn't, but <laughs> I still regret. The okay, decision okay. So let, let's way. just let's just go to that. So, uh, so he had a Lincoln, obviously, and you were Ford. Yeah. So he, I couldn't help him to begin with, like, and then also, of course, we're dealing with we're dealing with um, the fact that <laughs> everything cool. He's just super angry anyway, and so he wasn't listening to anything I was saying to begin with. So I just thought it would be interesting to just totally throw him off and just come back on the line as Matthew McConaughey. I was like, why not? You know, either way, he's being a butt, so I might as well. Might as well. So basically, if I was a if I was a guy, I would have been. I would have said to you, he's like, Josh, so can you help me? So can you help me? I got a Lincoln. Can you help me? <laughs> And then you would have said, "No, sir, I can't. Come on, come on, get 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 in the character. Come on, we can do this. What? Come on, we're gonna do I it. I cannot help you, sir. So do I, no, I was gonna, no, 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 not yet. You're Who still. Are you what are you talking about? You're just you're Josh right now. Come I'm on, like, sir. This, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. This is. This do I need to speak to Matthew McConaughey himself in order to get this to work? 
dun, dun, dun. You know, I was going to be like, you know what? He's here doing a promo video. It's amazing. <laughs> it's crazy that you asked because he happens to be here. So, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get him on the line. Just, just hold for a minute. And I was going to come back and be like, all right, all right, all right. Thank you for calling Lincoln. My name is Matthew. How can I assist you today? <laughs> just uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, I'm a big absolutely fan of not friend. absolutely not we are not gonna help you i'm sorry have you have a blessed day thank you for calling calling lincoln 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 all right all right Wait, are you gonna you, you can't right. see me doing this right now but you, <laughs> I'm, you, I'm playing you know with my hands right now it's how i pass the time <laughs> nah dude i was so i was so tempted i was gonna do it and then i told my one of my bosses later he's not there anymore but i told him and he goes why didn't you do it? And I'm like, what do you mean? Why didn't I do it? That was terrible advice. He's like, I would have let you do it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, now you tell me. Uh, Cause technically the rule is as long as you can keep in character the whole time and not laugh, which I have no problem doing oddly enough on the phone. He goes, they can't get really mad at you per se for doing it. But do you ever do voices now just for the hell of it? Not on a phone, not live. Like with a customer. No, no. Oh, okay. I that would be like, my boss, even though he knows I could keep a voice the whole time, he would disconnect the line anyway. <laughs> so I had a customer call in a couple of weeks ago. I had to cover the phones because my rep was out in school, whatever. And Was this the nightmare that I walked in on when I called you? No, no, no. When you called me? This was a few weeks ago. Um, so I was out there in the warehouse, and I had the phone out there. And I was talking to one of the employees when the phone was ring, uh, getting ringed. Ring. And I was joking around, you know, with a, like, <laughs> deep you, southern, like, hick accent, right? I can't do it on cue. It just happens, okay? So don't ask me to do it now. Oh, uh, convenient. Answer the phone <laughs> in a deep country hick accent. You did? Yes. Okay. And how did, did he just thought that was you? Had no clue. <clears throat> Had no freaking clue. Held on to it the entire time. That's the best. Except for, like, the last 30 <laughs> seconds when I turned around and asked, you know, the employee behind me for something. I went normal voice. And the person on the phone just got a little confused. They're like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that is the best, dude. It just sucks when you get stuck in a voice. That's what happens to me sometimes. Is like I said, like I was selling a phone at my old job. And I, I was doing a Scottish accent with the guys, like joking around because it was such a slow day. And then a dude comes up needing a phone and I totally spaced and I did the entire 30 minute phone setup as a Scottish dude, a Puerto Rican Scottish dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And now <laughs> we get, we get to the point, the end of the thing. And I set up the phone and I'm like, I'm like, all right, lad, thank you so much for coming in. You know, it's so great to see you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. All right. Have a good day. And he walks off and I'm just like, and I turn around and my friends are like, Oh my God, you just did that whole phone. And I was like, <laughs> holy crap i came right i came right out of it after that i was like oh my god i can't believe i just did that and he's like and he bought it the whole time so i'm like thank god i go back to my work and i'm sitting there sorting phones out uh. under the counter so i can't look up i can't see anything and the guy's like hey uh i had a question i'm like yeah dude what's up and the guy looks at me and i'm like did you what do you think of that does that sound realistic i was trained to do an american <laughs> accent was that and the guy looked so confused but he was like yeah i was it was really good. And I was just like, all right, hey, you, you have a good day, lad. It was good to see you. Good to see you, sir. He just walks off. I was like, oh. I just wonder what he was thinking the rest of the day. You know. Like, so one of my first jobs was telesurveying, hmm. which is horrifying. It's basically political things. And, oh. and I'm laying down. I'm not laying down. I'm, I'm sitting, laying down and down. I'm right laying down in the floor of the bathroom going, why did my life end this way? <laughs> no, I'm actually, uh, I did that once. I was just like, <laughs> if I die here, no one's going to care. But uh, if I went, no, I went to, uh, what do you call that? Um, I went to, I was on the phone and uh, then the headphones that you have, all you hear is a bing and it would go right into it. You're supposed to go. There's no. That's what happens to us to you. Yeah, there was no, and you just get it. You have to go right into it. So when you're, I was in the middle of stretching one time, and it, <laughs> so I was like, I've been waiting. And the bing. I was like, oh, thank you for calling, blah, 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 My name's Ed. How can I help you? So the whole time I sounded like, oh, oh th so that happened once, and the other time that happened, I sounded like Barney, <laughs> Barney the dinosaur. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you morning. for calling. <laughs> Want to talk to you about Nancy Pelosi? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it was horrifying, uh, I, and, and that's—I mean, 
telephone work is, you know, a noble, horrifying profession that yeah, I guess for you can get For the birds. Over. What? It's for the birds. It's if I had it my way, I would turn the phones off nonstop. Yeah. Just email and chat. Yeah. Because you can yell at your screen. You can't <laughs> yell on the phone. We are in all. We are Why? In all phone we are I, a no phone facility, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, it was really funny. Is my girlfriend actually uses? Uh, she where she, where she does to, uh, emails. Uh huh. And sometimes she gets moved to chat. Uh-huh. And then when they sometimes on the rare occasion have to put her to um, put her on um, put her on uh, like the telephones, like on the rare rare occasion, like there's no one in chat, no one in email, no emails left over. Mm-hmm. She has to go in there. Actually, most of the time, so they'll just have her sitting in the place of being slammed, and somebody be like, "We need more people." I don't know. Then, like an hour and a half later, don't we have an email team? <laughs> yeah, but they're doing emails. <laughs> True they don't have man. emails. Oh, <laughs> then they finally put her on <laughs> hey, there. Christina. She usually gets on there for like a minute or two, and that's it. That's usually what happens with the call centers and stuff. The the volume changes so dra- dramatically randomly. It's like really hard to actually know what's gonna happen next. Christina, tra- uh, Christina uh, switched over to Twitch. Mm-hmm. She twi- she Twitch. Oh, no, switched. she switched over to YouTube. YouTube. She's oh YouTube. Okay. Yep. Okay. No, that, work. that works. Mm-hmm. My. Mm-hmm. F- <laughs> Thank you for calling. Okay, no, this was uh, Ben says my favorite uh, to get that. Well, so the baby to get that ding sound in the middle of a coughing fit. <laughs> yeah, because then you sound like. <laughs> well, thank you for calling. What we want you to do is ask you a few questions to get your ideas on this certain political aspect. So <laughs> we wanted to talk to you about this. <laughs> Getting a story face. Just getting a survey. Now, locks on bagels. Do you think smoked salmon should be there or not? <laughs> I think it's silly. What I thought you were coloring it in. What? I thought you weren't coloring it in. I'm not really coloring it in. I'm just throwing a color in the background so they stand out. That sounds like color. Hey, <laughs> I'm not coloring them all individually, if that's what you mean. <gasps> How is your Copics? Copics. Running out. No, I meant the contest, but that's also disheartening to hear that you're running out of ink. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Who subscribed? Christina. Yay, Christina. Christina is the woman. She's not. She's a man. The woman. Oh, the woman. Okay, she the bomb. <laughs> she the bomb diggity. Whatever is PC these days, you know. Whatever is PC, uh, you can't mention bomb because if you say I'm the bomb, then I can't get on an airplane. And she's the bomb. I baby. need to go visit my aunt. In Djibouti. In Djibouti. In Zimbabwe. I don't know. There it is, guys. Uh, for now, I'm gonna. I like the layout, so I think I'm gonna end up actually doing the shirt. What do you guys think? Like, yeah, I know this isn't. I think it's one Rick to rule them all. <laughs> uh, all right, so guys, what do you think? You guys think you'd like to see this as a shirt? Comment now. Do or, it now. Cricket, cricket, or cricket. maybe a poster or. Or print. We can do both. Yeah, our our, our lights behind you are... Uh, Tripping are you out. Freaking the heck out. Mm-hmm. Should probably figure out why it's doing that. <laughs> Got a hammer? <laughs> no, there's probably uh, some greater, greater evil at afoot. Okay, so I'm looking up Lord of the Rings speech. <laughs> Come on. Speech at the Black Gate? Ben says, shirt it! Shirt it. Shirt. Sure. It sure it. I fear your fear. The same fear that would take the very heart of me. I would like one the day shirt, please. Men's courage fails. Christina but, says, but today is yes. not this day. Uh, <laughs> Christina also would like it to be as a shirt. Okay. I will do that. For the purchase. Well, she likes Rick and Morty and Lord of the Rings, so. So if you, uh, yeah, so feel free to go to justshotstraws.com. And uh, <laughs> we're going to be posting more stuff up there soon. Yep. But yeah, so, okay, so I'll start working on that as a shirt. I like how it came out, too. I might tweak some things, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good um, layout-wise. And then I'll do a print version as well for those of you who don't wear shirts. I'm just kidding. <laughs> who, who wears other Tarps. types fancy of pants, shirts? Fancy shirts or whatever that what, can't what, have what, images on them. You mean we don't wear fancy shirts? You mean buttons? <laughs> ben, funny. You shall not pass on this shirt. Very true. 
Oh, that would be a great promotion. Mm-hmm. You shall not pass. So uh, what obviously. it is is you need to, um, if you're looking up lines, you have to do them in order. What? She lost her favorite Lord of the Rings shirt today. That's sad. We're gonna have to like she, make this ASAP so you can have another. You lost Lord of the it Rings today. Shirt. She did. It's uh, destiny. It's destiny. Just today, <laughs> not the other day. She Never. lost it this very minute. <laughs> No, but you she need set to look it on up. fire so have room to make room. We for need it. more Mogwai. <laughs> I gotta have more Mogwai. Wow, Come on. More, more Mogwai. Never, never feed them after midnight. No, they turn into gremlins. I don't get them wet. Wet. What? I don't like it. I don't want to get them wet. And they shoot little babies out of the back. It's quite disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> like <it was> <laughs> I loved uh, when Gizmo had uh, the hold, had hold the your ground, arrow. hold your ground, sons of Gandor, or um, Rodin, my brothers. I see in your eyes, in the same fear uh, that would take. Hold on, need us to upload better. It's, it's <laughs> very hard of me, Rick. You're supposed to know this. Uh, how the, I don't know this. It's iconic. <laughs> how do you? It's do psychotic. You iconic things. Do you say it's psychotic? <laughs> She's iconic. like Christina oh, is okay, like that's what listen. I want you to do. I just what? realized I lost it. Okay. <laughs> just now, she just realized it. Smarty. She was trying to put it in a bag. <laughs> I want you pack to, it up. <laughs> I want you to fo- okay. Oh, one of those rally speeches from the Lord of the Rings. Could you do that as Morty? I'm <laughs> so unsure. Oh God. Okay. Which one? All right. I don't know. Just find one. Look it up and put it in the bag. Put it in the backpack. All your speech. Sell it at the speech store. Did All you right. check for the shirt in your closet? What? Maybe it fell off the hanger. It's really creepy if you'd be like, no, no, on the left. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the left. Don't know about the words are coming out of your mouth, Ed. Your computer camera is backwards for me, so you're right. <laughs> All right I'm trying to, trying to find speech, you guys. Uh, IMSB, IMSD. Excuse what? Me. Internet Movie Script Database. All right. Uh, the Lord of the Rings are the super, super black. No. And, uh, oh, yeah. Schmeagle. So. <laughs> so. Go forth and fear no darkness. Arise. Arise, riders of Theoden. <laughs> the spears uh, shall be shaken. Uh, shields will be splintered. <laughs> a sword day. A red day, you guys. Uh, here the sun rises. And then and you tap the shields. Stuff ride now. <laughs> You're ride. I'm direction. telling you to, to ride right now. Ride, ride for ruin and stuff in a red nightfall. I think. Uh, <laughs> death. <laughs> Christina says, "Of ride course, day. I checked my closet." Ben replies, "Down at the bottom, under the shoes." What? <laughs> Why would you have your shirt under your shoes? It fell off the hanger. We're under your shoes. Forget it. Rick and, just, just Rick and Thor, sh- son of what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not very motivating. Go and die, you guys. <laughs> it's for a good cause. I promise. <laughs> It'd be funny if she actually found her shirt. <laughs> yeah, probably. She probably will. Yeah, and then. My she- God, man, you're a genius. <laughs> She'll block what? us and be all afraid. Yeah. How did you know? Did you put I mean, it there? How anticlimactic would that be? Like, I don't know. Like, what the speech? Like Morty was like so shakingly saying it. You're gonna go. You're gonna go follow him to go die. And he's like, uh, uh, you know, I see in your eyes the, the same fear that would take the heart of me. Uh, it is. It's taking it right now. I don't have it. It's gone. <laughs> All my heart's gone. <laughs> just running. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> just no, no actual speech. Just runs off. But no, Rick, I don't even know, like, how would you... This is such a daunting voice task. What, with the, the, the Gandalf? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see, Gandalf. I'm trying to find a script. I'm find, I see, I have the script here. Gandalf but... speech. The only problem is I don't know where there's, like... What? What do you say if I do... It is moment. So you gotta have like you gotta do. Oh, could you please do do Gandalf singing that song? What? What song? What did you think I would do in this moment? I don't even know that song. What? Song what? Really? Talking? What song are you talking about? Oh, it's when a man I loves a woman. When a man. You know, <laughs> I thought you were gonna do. What it. Do I you think? 
I, I thought you were going to tell me to you build me a buttercup. Why do you build me up some sort of <laughs> buttercup, baby, just to let me down? Mm. Uh, let me down. <laughs> Mess me around. I don't know. Like, Where's How would you all? mix Gandalf and Rick's voice together? Like, I, <sighs> I'm just enjoying the comments of Ben trying to help Christina find her shirt. Yeah, I noticed. He keeps now, this is still a she thing? needs to check the trunk of her car. Yeah, no, there's the... Don't ask. It's like the weirdest... Did you check the mayonnaise jar? Did you check the peanut butter jar? Make sure you... Go to the bathroom. Take the tank off the back of the toilet. Is your shirt in there? Because that's where I keep mine. <laughs> this is the craziest damn thing. I don't know what suggestions you got over there. All right, what you need to do is change your oil. <laughs> Did it come out? <laughs> Just say. <laughs> Weird ass places your shirt can be. <laughs> Sorry, we're all tired. It's not is really it in the basement. I live in Florida. So. <laughs> There's a couple of places here. You can swim down there. underneath your house. I don't know, dude. Rick and Gandalf. Randolph. Saruman. Saruman is the other wizard. Yeah, it's just I, I'm trying to. There, f- there's a speech he gives to. Um, uh, there's Gandalf's, Gandalf. Gandalf tells him not to kill Morty. Well, I mean not to kill Morty. It's Smeagol, and there's that speech, and then there's another speech where Frodo's like, you know, if he was Morty, he'd be like. Christina <laughs> says, "Ed, <laughs> what, what." She's like, just take your comments. Just put them in a bag. I didn't do anything wrong. Put have your you comments have you, in a bag. Have you seen what Ben's been saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ed stole your shirt <laughs> just to make you buy a new one. So weird. Why, Ed? Why are you stealing people's shirts, Ed? Can't take you anywhere. Because they're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty. It smells they, like coffee. <laughs> and they fit so snug. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Flame, flame, doon. Damn it! You, you shall not pass. Maybe you should just do straight, Rick. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, all right. I got, I got nothing, Morty. You want some kind of, you know, inspirational speech, Morty? All I can tell you is, you're probably gonna die. Unless you you man up and and just shut up and do stuff, you know. <laughs> Where he's like, I, I don't want to die, Rick. I want to live. <laughs> Christina would have put it past you. Put it past me to do what? How Steal your I, shirt. I didn't. No. So you look at the kind of shirt. impression she has of you after like only hanging out with you for like a total of like an hour in the last like couple weeks. If you compile the time together. And all of her shirts smell like coffee. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That is the best thing ever, Christina. Why am I still doing this voice? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ow, I bit the microphone. Good job. Bit the, the microphone. Hit my tooth more would be the better explanation. I'm just going to get all my stuff and pack it up. <laughs> Put it in a bag. Literally. I have my bag. All right, everyone. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This, this is the last Rick and Morty live stream. Unless, you know, it's requested or something, but... <laughs> Not for many, many weeks from now. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I really hope you like the design, and we'll make it a thing. <laughs> Shut up, Rick. He's not even saying anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm looking up. I'm lo- Shut lo- up, Rick. I'm still looking up lines. Wow, my, my, Ben. Two point five seconds. That's that's a very specific number. You're kind of creeping me out, Ben. Weirdo. I just don't understand how he timed ben- Ed taking someone's shirt off. <laughs> Two point. I'm not sure here with it. Stop watch. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and do it, Ed. Just take it off. And then he's like, "Wow, two point five seconds. That's impressive." That's Woo. going on the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember that. Woo wee. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how. Am I the bad guy suddenly? I, I didn't know. talk about her. Sh- I, I didn't. <laughs> he's all like, "Did you check underneath there?" I think it's I- mostly <laughs> you made. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Scoob. Oh, geez. I guess I gotta go to Mount Doom. Oh, geez. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in.
to another fun-filled episode of Just Josh Draws. Christina, everybody. I wish the Rick had never the- come to me. Uh, I wish none of this ever happened. <laughs> well, get your crap together and just take it to Mordor. D- what was <laughs> <laughs> So do all, all who live and see such times, but <clears throat> it's not, that to- not them to decide and, and, and crap. <laughs> look, look, Rick, you're, just, you're taking too long to say all this stuff. It's not inspirational when you burp in between every line. I just... <laughs> <laughs> It loses its its impact. Did anybody ever tell you that? Maybe that you should stop drinking. Yeah, oh, yeah. Somebody told me that, and and I ignored him. It was you, Morty. It was you, Morty. Now, why don't you like jump on that dragon and go to Mount Doom and save us three movies? The dragon's in the <laughs> Hobbit. It's a prequel, you idiot. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just talking about. I'm talking about the dragon, like the birds. That, That's what Gandalf. You just, you just no that big bird in the you're, first movie. You're not helping. That, in the first movie, that first. I give up. That first movie, the the bird. <laughs> just jump on the damn back of the bird. Just, and thank you for all tuning in, everybody. It's like nine <laughs> hours. Don't <Tell them laughs> shut up. Just everybody have a good day. Vote for the shirt. Shout. Peace out. Yes, vote for the shirt. <laughs> and as always, an only way to get better. To just just draw and stuff. Oh jeez. <laughs> Bye. See you guys.